Today, I want to spend a few minutes talking about the Autodesk Flex system and run through the key user groups that this system is designed for and who it's intended to, to be used by. So we're going to run through some key users and key metrics and what that means. Once again, we'll just reiterate what Flex is. It's a, a flexible product purchasing solution that allows users to access software without a standard term commitment. Uh, Autodesk has uh, stuck by their, their terms, the one year and the three year. Uh, the Flex now offers an option to kind of pay as you go uh, for these tokens so that it can be used by different users in different key areas. Um, and what we're going to run through in these next couple of slides is what those key users are and how Autodesk kind of defines what that user is and how you can work with ATG to uh, look through your, your usage data and see what that means to purchase a Flex token and, and who can use it. Uh, Autodesk uh, gives kind of a, a really rudimentary structure as far as if you're looking at a user, are they a good fit for Flex, or are they not? Uh, if a user is accessing a product two plus days a week, then they likely should stick to a single user subscription, or you need to purchase a single user sub uh, for that user. If they're accessing a product one day or less, then their best option might be a flex token system uh, where they're not in the day to day. Um, they're not gonna be using necessarily. So the cost structure and the function of that is ideal uh, for a consumer, for a company to say, uh, the price is right. Uh, that user is not gonna be in there every single day. So I'm gonna look at that flex system as a way to go. So the key users for that, uh, we really have kind of, kind of defined within three different groups. Uh, one, the multi-user access. Over the past year, Autodesk has made a key uh, emphasis on switching from multi-users to standalone licenses. That has caused a lot of companies to right size, uh, either good or bad, either up or down, uh, with needing to buy more seats or um, they've had too many seats looking at usage data. Uh, what Flex allows customers to do is now is to right size again and say, um, I might have been over licensed at that time, but I can now go back and look at Flex and say, is this a viable option for me uh, for those multi-user licenses that I had? and I had to switch to standalone, uh, can I uh, drop a few seats and say I only need Flex for a couple of those? Or do I need to buy more Flex tokens considering that some of these users that were, were on a standalone are not using them as much? Uh, so most user access with that switch that continues, if a customer has not made that switch, this is a great option for them to, to reassess at their time when it comes to standalone access. Uh, interns. Interns are another great uh, use case for the Flex tokens, uh, whether it might be a summer internship or a year internship, but they might be in different programs or maybe only using that program uh, one day a week and then they're in class the rest of the week. Internships would be a great way to, to save some money on not having to buy a single standalone license that would be there throughout the entire year, uh, but maybe a Flex license on an AutoCAD seat or a Revit seat that can be used periodically by an intern. Uh, and then it can drop when that usage is done and it can be picked up again, either when interns start up or if they come back after their, their school year graduation, whatever it might be. But internships are a second uh, great category we feel could be used for, for token licenses. Uh, the third and probably the, the key one that uh, it's mostly designed for is any kind of new design process. If you are um, bidding on a new project, you're trying to try something different, uh, a user is trying in a, a different format, uh, a flex token might be a great way to say, uh, we're not sure if we're going to stick with this project, we're not sure if we're going to stick with this design solution, but we do want to try it out maybe for this, for this one project or this one user and see how it works. This gives you a chance to not have that, that major cost when it comes to buying a standalone license. It allows you the opportunity to say, hey, we're going to try it out. You're going to use the flex system for this one seat, uh, maybe for one to two users who could uh, log in and use that flex license uh, in, in, a, in a small time period and see how that uh, see how that works. Look at the usage, look at the time uh, and the cost of that and really consider it if it's going to be a long time investment uh, for you as a company. But flex uh, is another way to look at that in a new design process. Um, it would be a great option. So these are the three categories when you go to look at um, users. And if you're thinking about flex, uh, these are the three main ones we have focused on at ATG to say, let's take a look, look at your usage data, and these might be the key areas to focus on. Next step would be to work with your ATG sales rep or CSR. Really look at the, the seat count and usage data. Uh, that's going to be crucial to how you determine if you're going to use this flex licenses or what you're going to do with it. Um, 
the fact that Autodesk has given us the ability to uh, track that usage uh, to the degree, to the degree we have now, really allows us the option to say, hey, where the seat's at is a flex an option. Let's take a look. Uh, the other thing that Autodesk has is a flex estimator. This can be seen in the, the Autodesk portal. Uh, and then you can also obviously contact ATG, ATG for us to look at that together. You can input uh, the amount of time and the users. It will give you an estimate on, yeah, this is a great time for you to go to flex tokens and use, or uh, the cost is going to be too high. You should stick to a single user subscription and use that to your benefit. So. That's kind of a brief rundown of the key users and reasons to buy Flex. But I, once again, I encourage you to work with ATG sales rep or CSR, review your seats, look at usage, and determine if the Flex system is the, the right, uh, right tool for you to use to save some time and hopefully save some cost um, over time. Thank you for your time today.